hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and this is the final video the video about how to use tensorflow lite for configuring the home automation okay so before we move to our main practical i just want to show you again the demo so as you can see there is our raspberry os bullseye and uh, this one is our windows 10 machine okay and the setup is right now like this way this is what the led uh, tube light okay which i have connect with the relay and here it is what our ESP8266 which connect with the Windows 10 machine and this is what our uh, Tony editor okay as you can see if you follow my last video our uh, second part where we have configured the on and off uh, message okay means uh, uh, we successfully send the message from our Raspbian OS bullseye to our ESP8266 micro python okay so now I am going to start the script the TensorFlow Lite script and as you can see this is what our uh, camera module Raspberry Pi 4 camera module okay so we are going to start here uh, TensorFlow Lite so Tony editor okay this is what our main script detect.py I am going to start the script okay and as you can see the camera is started now uh, it's detected the chair there is no person and uh, as you can see of course the LED is off now simply we want to move in front of the camera okay so let's just move in front of the camera as you can see now there is a person and the LED is on okay and the message is also as you can see the LED on LED on also on our windows 10 micro python here also as you can see if you see let me make the clear the led on message is there okay so right now we are in the frame if we move aside from the frame as you can see the led is off and as you can see there is no person in the frame again we are in the frame person detected and the LED is on so this is what the demo now we are going to move on our main practical okay so let's get started so friends how to connect a one channel relay with ESP8266 okay so for that we need here a jumper cable as you can see I have here a jumper cable which look like this way okay uh, this is the jumper cable male to female jumper cable okay as you can see male to female jumper cable okay so we need here a three male to female jumper cable because the one channel relay has three pins if you see here the input in then the ground and the vcc okay input is basically for the data in which we are going to connect with esp8266 d1 pin which is the gpio5 and the ground which we are going to connect with ESP8266 ground and the VCC which is the power for the relay which we are going to connect with ESP8266 3 volt okay so if you see here I have here the white jumper cable blue jumper cable and this one is the orange okay so three jumper cable so white which is connect with the VCC of the relay which I have connect with ESP8266 3 volt as you can see the white color jumper cable I have connect with the 3 volt okay if you see here white jumper cable 3 volt then the next one is blue okay as you can see the blue one which I have connect with the ground of the relay and the blue goes with here as you can see ESP8266 ground and then last one which is the data pin in okay relay input which the color is the orange which I have connect with ESP8266 D1 as you can see the D1 okay physical pin D1 and GPIO pin number 5 orange which I have connect with the D1 okay so 3 volt ground and the D1 this is how we need to connect one channel relay with our ESP8266 okay now how to connect the LED light with relay okay so of course we need here uh, this kind of cable okay the red one and the black one red one is uh, stands for the live 
and black one is stands for the ground okay so red one which we want to connect with the relay the first channel as you can see this is the relay okay so red one which i have connect with the first channel first second and third okay so first the red one which is the live cable which i have connect with the first channel of the relay then the second channel is basically out for the led okay means what the live current live current comes in comes in in the relay okay then the second channel is basically out for the live current so red and the white cable which is the out current okay which is the out current from the relay which i have connect with the led live connection as you can see the led live connection okay the white cable with led live connection and the black cable which is the ground cable which we want to direct connect to the led ground okay as you can see the this one is the black cable which is the ground so ground which we want to connect direct to the led okay direct to the led so red one the live which we want to connect to relay the first channel as you can see first channel then out of the live out of the live which we want to connect with led live and the ground which we want to connect direct to the led so this is how we want to connect our led to the relay okay so this is the setup now we are going to move on our computer okay so friends we are on our raspberry os bullseye desktop machine okay simply open the program in tony python ide okay and we need to go here file click on open and we need to go in the py py folder okay or we can say py directory and inside that py we have tensorflow lite bullseye if you follow my old video where i have already explained how to install tensorflow lite on raspberry os bullseye then you know we have here a tensorflow lite bullseye folder and inside that we have examples folder okay suppose if you are on the raspberry and buster legacy version then same tutorial or the same steps okay you need to simply open the examples folder okay and inside that we have again lite folder again examples then we have here object detection folder then we have raspberry pi folder okay so right now we are inside the examples light examples object detection and raspberry pi okay this is we are on raspberry os bullseye raspberry os buster same folder examples light examples object detection and raspberry pi okay then we need to edit here utils.py file so first we want to open the utils.py okay and then we need here our main file which is the detect.py so simply open the detect.py so right now we want to make some changes inside the utils.py so just scroll down scroll down and after in for detection in detection we need to mention here empty list as you can see okay so before for detection in detection we need to mention main is equal to empty list okay you can mention any name i have mentioned main as just a empty list and then after the class name we want to append our main list so main dot append and we need to pass the class name the class name this class name is basically what this class name is the label of our object means if uh, if tensorflow light detect person if tensorflow light detect chair then we can call the person and chair is basically the label so we need to somehow save our label in the list which is the main so for that we need to mention main dot append and then we need to simple pass the class name as a object okay so as you can see i have mentioned here class name variable okay so then after you need to simple scroll down because we have now we have now all the object labels inside the main because we append it okay now if we just scroll down at the end as you can see i have mentioned like this way before the return image before the return image we need to mention if person means suppose in list in main list 
when the person is detected means when the person is there in main list so for that we need to mention if person in main main is basically our list which we call here as you can see the main so if person in main print led on okay then we need to run our on dot py script if you follow our second part where we create the on dot py and the off dot py file or on dot py and the off dot py python script inside umqtt folder okay so let me show you umqtt this is what our zip repository which we clone in our second part so umqtt folder and inside that we have as you can see off.py and on.py and the sub.py is basically for our ESP8266 so we need here only off.py and on.py python script okay so we are going to use here import os module for that here in module as you can see i have import os so we need to import os in utils.py we need to import the os module so import os then just scroll down and here we need to mention os.system python3 and we need to mention the path path of our on.py and path of our off.py so where we have our on.py we have our on.py in slash home slash py umqtt folder inside that we have our on.py then if the person in main it will run the on.py script else of course else there is no person there is another object so else print led of os dot system it will call python 3 home uh, pi umqtt inside that we have off dot pi so if the person is there it will run on dot pi else means we have another object then it will run off dot pi that's it so this is how basically we can create the person or we can say motion detected uh, tensor right object oriented uh, home automation ok so this is the changes for utils.py that's it now simply detect.py run the detect.py and right now as you can see it is detected the chair so led off led off now if i move little bit as you can see if person is detected and led is on led on led on okay so this is how you you need to make changes inside the utils.py for tensorflow light now simple what we want to do so now let's just stop the code and we are going to move on over ESP8266 part so this is what our ESP8266 in part 2 we have here ytsub.py file inside our ESP8266 so simply go to the file click on open inside the micro python device we have network.py simply click on click on ok and we need to open the network.py file ok and simply run the file it will connect your ESP8266 with your router ok that's it then we need to go again file click on open micropython and ytsub.py click on ok and it will open ytsub.py python file we want to make some changes because in today's session we are going to use here a relay so as i mentioned uh, we connect our relay with esp8266 gpio pin number 5 so for that we need to change the pin so i have mentioned here a pin number 5 as you can see in last video we have here a pin number 16 for onboard led but right now we are going to connect our relay with gpio pin number 5 esp8266 we only want to change here a pin number okay so pin number is 5 then all the things are same as you can see all the things are same okay now simply if i run the code okay right now there is nothing so just open the vnc and start the detect.py as you can see right now led off led off on tony editor also as you can see 
basically raspberry pi is sending the message on our es pack 266 led off led off okay now open the vnc and if i move as you can see the person detected led on person is detected led on and on our tony as you can see also the led on and i can see the led light is on the relay is on now if i move a uh, little bit aside from the frame as you can see the led is off there is a chair but still the led off because we mentioned if the person is there then only led on if if other object is there there is no need to led on okay so this is how friends you can you can create the tensor flow light object detected oriented home automation project okay so i hope you would learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye